back to Final Fantasy VIII. Our next destination is uh, Tribea Garden, which is right here. But first, before doing that, let me show you that, uh, uh, of course, just outside the entrance, I get a random encounter. How lovely. With these things here. These uh, blade horse things are surprisingly, uh, surprisingly powerful. Let me get these uh, SMS for selfie here. Yeah, these uh, these little bests are a lot stronger than they look, so just just kind of be careful while fighting them. That one was kind of weak because uh, Squall's at level 100, but Renault's at level 60, and Selfie's at like what 30 or something like that. But at high levels, these bests are can cause you some damage, so just uh, be careful when fighting them. I, I, how did I just want to time me on that? No, nope. that might be the only battle you see during this episode because uh, this is yet another episode with a lot of dialogue. And by the way, I, I think those bastards have the uh, have something for Renault's weapon, but it's kind of it's kind of hard to get them, get him to drop it. You're better off getting it later on in the game. Anyway, let me show you that uh, that drop point. This is a, a side quest that you that you can do at this point in the game. Uh, I think if you complete it, you'll get like a Phoenix pin or something like that. Something that lets you summon Phoenix in battle. And then after that, it'll randomly show up to save your ass and stuff like that. Just like Odin does. There's that drop point. Unfortunately, uh, in order to get to it, we just, we have to pay 5,000 gil. Oh, what the hell. And since this drop point costs you money, make absolutely sure that the person drawing it has some pretty high magic stat, like Reno, for example. Let me, uh... Let me get that magic up. Uh, now it's 240. Make actually sure that the person drawing it has a lot of magic stat. So you can get the most out of this. Th 13 ultimates. There we go. So it's going to cost you a little money. But you can uh, you can grind ultimate there at this point in the game. And that'll pretty much just... That'll pretty much break the game seriously. And since I don't use money that much in this game... It's uh, not a problem for me. Uh, I don't know if there are any other ways to get Ultima at this point in the game. If there are, please uh, let me know. But I'm pretty sure that's why it costs 5,000 gil. Anyways, I was saying, I guess this is uh, try to be a garden because unfortunately uh, that's uh, Selfie's uh, hometown, her home garden. And it was recently uh, destroyed by missiles. So she wants to check it out to make sure what is uh, still breathing. <coughs> I'm not gonna be breathing at this rate. I've been sneezing nonstop here. Damn. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I really, uh, I really hate the, uh, I really hate the world map in Final Fantasy VIII. I, I just, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. And by the way, uh, guys, uh, before going to the garden, where is it? By the way, it's right here somewhere. Uh, it's probably up there in the ice. <laughs> mm. So there, I saw it. But how the fuck do I? I hate the world map in Final Fantasy VIII. I can't stand it. It's really hard to move around with this uh, with this half airship thing. It's not that bad uh, after you get the Ragnarok, but until <sighs> come on, seriously. But until then, this world map is just really, really aggravating. <laughs> there's the garden. That That's our next destination. However, before doing that, there's a certain monster that I want to show you guys. It might be worth it to grind it if I can get inside the forest. <laughs> Ask the... Uh, Alright, this uh, snow lion thing here has a lot, I mean a lot of HP. You can draw the Berserk spell from it if you want to use that for whatever reason. Well, Berserk isn't too bad, I guess. <laughs> Hitting males? 
Nice. Again, uh, this fucker has a lot of HP, so, uh, you might be better off just using your, uh, Rizzo Kukin on it, or, uh, Degenerator for using Christy. Rough Divide. He might not have that much right now because, uh, I'm using a selfie and Renoa, and they're not at level 100. Damn, he's, he's still alive. See, he's not even at level 100. He's still alive after that. This guy has a lot, I mean, a lot of hit points. Can't believe he's still alive. <laughs> Please, will you die? What? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, you've got to be shitting me. How much HP does this fucker have? Ninety-eight thousand. Okay, he's at level seventy-five. So if he, if he was at if he, if he was at level 100, he like had like I was 150,000 HP. That's just that's just ridiculous. So yeah, so uh, again, that's another issue that people have with uh, Final Fantasy VIII. Some people find the uh, the normal battles uh, just too difficult, and they're not good at the uh, at the junctioning system. But yeah, if you don't junction up and learn how the system works or spam your limit breaks, you're gonna have a hard time playing this game. Because of monsters like this, with massive HP and high defense and stuff like that. Okay, he's dead. Let's just uh, skip this. Uh, the Snow Lion isn't a bad monster, considering the fact that it's it's very, very common, and it does give us some pretty decent experience points for this point in the game. So you can easily kill it with the Degenerator and level it up and stuff like that. But thing I don't like about Snow Lion is uh, it's, it's very, very, it's a very, very laggy monster. It always does ice breath, and it takes about, it's like a 10 second spell, and it, and it uses it very often. But other than that, it's, it's not a bad monster to grind. It doesn't have any worthy drop items, I don't think. You may have noticed that every now and then, my, uh, my Final Fantasy VIII movies, uh, the audio goes out of sync, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know why this is happening. It's got it's got something it's got something to do with the uh, with the catcher device I'm using, it and the game you're playing. It doesn't do that on every game and every catcher device. I don't know why this is happening. Uh, I have another catcher device where it, it won't do that. Unfortunately, uh, it makes the quality much much worse than it is right now. Um, I have a way around it. I can like. I have to record like five minutes of it, then stop the recording, then then keep recording. Uh, that makes my editing a little more aggravating, but the overall uh, outcome is uh, okay. It took about ten minutes, but I can show you that this uh, rare encounter is indeed worth it. This is the monster I was talking about. This uh, blue dragon here. It's just as rare as that that ruby dragon was. It seems, unfortunately. Couldn't steal, of course. Not really good draw spells other than death and drain. Drain's pretty good. This thing is uh, kind of tough, so just uh, watch out for it. I'll uh, kill him later on. Rat punch. Come on now. Come on now. There we go, he stole a fear fragment. You can steal a fear fragment from it, and uh, on rare occasions, it, it will indeed drop a um, drop eight dragon fangs. I think I don't know exactly how many it drops, but it drops, it drops a lot of them. You go ahead and kill it now. All right. 
That's eight. Bless these old. Is I saying uh, this guy drops some um, dragon fangs and fear fragments? There he goes. That guy is kind of tough, so just uh, watch out for him. He didn't drop any items, of course, but note that the, the blue dragon does drop uh, dragon fangs very, very often, so uh, it might be worth the time to grind him. If you don't feel like going back to the uh, back to the, the, that forest where we can get the fixed, uh, the fixed uh, Grindel encounter. All right. Now on to the main stuff we're supposed to be doing here. Get on the damn... Get on the... Thank you. Jesus Christ, man. This game is so laggy at times. Now I forgot how to get back to the forest. Not the forest, but... Uh, jump here. Ah, there it is. There it is. There it is. Here's our next destination story-wise. Let me show you where it is on the world map for those of you who can't find it. There it is. Right. Anyway, let's get on with it. Trapea Garden. A direct hit? Terrible. I'm going in. Be careful. Wow, Seth, you pretty agile, aren't you? And it looks like Seth automatically leaves the party here. But I don't think we're going to do any fighting for a while, so I'm not going to bother uh, Junshini. However, I am going to uh, put this on Renoa because there's a certain draw point in here that I want to get my hands on. And I care more about my hit points than I do my uh, my strength with her. Let me just make sure, in case I do end up fighting, I haven't played in a while. As I was saying, there's a certain uh, draw point in here that I want to get my hands on. Since I did not uh, get the um, get the uh, Leviathan Garden Force spell, I have to get, I, I mean Leviathan Garden Force, I have to get a certain spell and, uh, by other means. Squall! Now how did you guys get over that fence that quick? Hmm, I thought Seth was with you. Uh, she sees right ahead. Are you missing someone? Selfie, I let her go on ahead. I bet, I bet you she's in shock. Come on, let's go out there. Righto. Uh, are you guys coming? Uh, guess not. <laughs> Alright, what do we have here? Thunder guy, that's not what I'm looking for. This is uh, Selfie's friend, I believe. Indeed, she is, and she looks kind of cute. So, have you looked at the Selfie? Just play along with it. Selfie's been a great help. Ah, What's wrong? That's not like Squall at all. Whatever. Come on, I care about my comrades. I'm just... I just got a lot of my mind right now, you know. And by the way, uh, you can play cards with uh, Seven's friend. I don't know if you can do it right now. You can't do it now, but uh, she has a uh, Selfie's card, of course. Which is precisely why her name is. Uh, it's not saying now, but that's exactly why her name is Selfie's friend. So that's a clue. Of, that's how you get Selfie's uh, card. Anyway, let's keep going. Uh, Looks like somehow everybody's still alive. What do we have here? Zombie! In the graveyard, of course. That's not the spell I'm looking for. 
just start show for those who are looking who, who like zombie. Zombie is actually pretty good because uh, you can uh, use it to um, to cast some of your party members and make them like really really injured and stuff like that. It'll make it easy to do limit breaks. <laughs> okay, C level fifteen. Which way did I come from? All right, what we have here. There it is, the aura draw spell. This is aura. Let's not draw it just yet. Before drawing that, since I don't have the, uh, since I don't have the uh, Leviathan Garden Force, unfortunately, this is going to be one of my methods of obtaining aura until later on in the game. I'm going to have to draw it, so I'm probably going to be coming here a lot just just to get this one spell. That's why I wasn't necessarily worried about about the Leviathan spell. Uh, start a new game to get it because uh, I, I can draw the oil spell. That's the only thing I cared about. And now that I know where it is, I can take that off. Because unfortunately, this draw spell is hidden. It's hidden for a reason. Alright, so there's the oil draw spell. I know where it is now, so I don't need that move fine thing anymore. Anyway, I forgot exactly uh, that Tom Bay King. Take this GS summoning, blah. That Tom Bay King. Oh, well, you're surprised that I got Tom Bay King or something? I don't know. Oh, oh, wait, wait. That, that Tom Bay King. Take this GS summoning, blah. Zzz, okay. I guess that's a clue that you might want to use some spells on the Tom Bay King, but I don't need to because I've got, I've got the Lionheart, so. You can summon a uh, Diablos on Time Bay King. It'll probably do 9,000 to it or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, I was saying, I forgot exactly uh, what I have to do in order to uh, proceed with the game here. Speaking of games, uh, I'll save it later in case the recording that doesn't go too well. Uh, I think we just have to walk around and talk to people or something. Uh, why are we not moving? Oh, okay. We're the tech squad. Yes, this game uh, has a lot of moments where where you have to like walk around, talk to people, and then eventually uh, that'll trigger the next uh, set of events or something. I don't know. Yeah, see, now Sephi just suddenly comes out of nowhere. That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, Sephi. Can you forgive us? What? Why? Why are you apologizing? That teddy bear I gave you? I mean, that teddy bear you gave me, I couldn't save it. I can hear him crying. He's lonely. My teddy bears got a lot stronger than you think. As long as you all safe, Mr. Bear be very happy. Teddy bear? Seriously? Okay. Hey, I can hear. Mr. Bear's watching over you se severely. A stuffed animal is watching you? Okay. Alright, alright. Selfie, so. Uh, sorry, I'll be there in a second. Wait by the basketball court, okay? Wait by the basketball court. And, uh, looks like we can't walk by you. We can't walk by these kids or jump over these rocks for some reason. So, where's the best spot court? Can I go up this, this steps? No. Where's the basketball court? Is it down here? Or... It's not that way. Uh, go back this way. And now, see, who, who would think to do that? See, they're... They're blocking your path, you can't get by, so now you gotta go that way, then come back this way, and I can go through. Who, who would think to do that? I mean, seriously. Anyway, uh, we gotta wait by the basketball court, which is uh, over here, I think. I can't remember where the damn basketball court is. Here we go. You guys got here quick. We'll leave as soon as Sylvie comes back. We're on standby till then. Does he like the enemy has evaded this garden yet? Are they on their way? Where's the sorcerers? We have to find her and... Squall's just like got a lot of them on his mind right now. Let me talk to Christy first. Yeah, how you doing, baby? Why the sorcerer and Lee? Aline, Aline and Vane Squad back in the past where Sorcerer searches for it. Could it be the Sorcerer trying to make the journey back to the past too? Naturally. We know how you doing, baby. 
You know, this is I'm you know, I'm thinking. I can't stop thinking about it. I can't come up with an answer either. Thinking about what? Oh, oh yeah, I remember. I remember. Renoa, uh, Renoa, Renoa's about to get all emotional right now. She wants to like stop fighting. You know, she, she's tired of all this fighting. Cause she, she don't want to lose her friends or anything like that. Uh, what did he say? I've got to do something to show Seth that she can pin on me. <laughs> Everything like selfie. Uh, what exactly do I do again? See, see, I, I've talked to everybody. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I've talked to everybody. Now what do I do? Come on now. What, what, what do I do? What the fuck do I do? I can't go to the menu screen. Do I gotta shoot a best ball or something? Oh, the best ball came out of nowhere. Okay. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Thanks so much for coming here. Coming all the way out here, everyone. Okay. Cheer up, yeah? Thanks. Take me with me to fight the sources, okay? I wanna get even. I wanna get my revenge. With that being said, the next time you fight Ida, make absolutely sure that Sylvie's in the party. Okay. Um. Do we have to fight? Isn't there another way? You know, to avoid bloodshed. Yo, what the? What are you saying all of a sudden? Maybe someone really smart can come up with a way so we shouldn't have to fight anymore. Uh, what are you getting at, baby? If someone can come up with this, that'd be great. Which is true. But no one's doing anything. They're all scared and easy. They, all they do is complain. They just pretend to be thinking. They criticize others, but in the end, they can't do anything about it either. You know why, why all this is What do you want from me? What do you expect from me? I grew up in garden. I'm a seed, you know? Squall? You have to voice your feelings, or else I won't understand. <laughs> she knows he's uh, he's uh, thinking to himself. Okay. You were part of the resistance movement, Timmy, right? Unlike others, unlike others who were taught, unlike others who were all taught, you took your weapons and fought. And now you're saying all this. What happened to you? I guess I'm getting scared. You getting cold feet? Sometimes when I'm with you, I I feel like we're on the same wavelength, you know. But when best is happening, it's different. It was typically seems pick up. I get left behind. I try to catch up, but it's no use. What are you talking about? You one of the you one of the best fighters in this game. For those of you who uh, who uh, don't realize this, yes, Renoa is one of the best fighters in this game, but that's not too late on. And I'm not talking about Angel Wing either. I'm talking about Renoa without Angel Wing. Okay. Is it went okay? We make it back together. When I start thinking like that, you know what? I understand. Someone might, someone might not be there. Someone you love may disappear before your very eyes. It's tough when you live your life thinking that way. But that's why I fight. When I was a little kid, about four or so, I was in an orphanage. Hey, he made it. I could have did that. Actually, I suck at basketball. <laughs> Played with kids with no parents. It was around the end of the social war, so I decided it could be helped. Anyway, that's where I was. Out of all the kids, there was one that was really special to me. Ify, wanna play? I really like this girl. It makes me so happy just thinking, just talking to her. Sefi, what you playing? Sefi? Hmm. War! Was that orphanage a stone house? You guessed it. Uh, what's this? An old house made of stone by the ocean? You guessed it. I knew right away when you first met. Hey! Why did you tell us?
Cause you two seem to have forgotten it. It just kinda sucked that I was the only one who remembered. Spucky little Selfie and, and Boss Little Christy. So that's how Christy got her name. <laughs> From the orphanage. Christy, okay. That's just too weird. Huh? Hey, do you guys mean to say enough fireworks? That was this way. Irving, Christy, Selfie, and Zell. They were all there in the orphanage together. They grew up together. So this isn't the first time they met. Isn't that weird? But why don't they remember? Hmm. See, when shit like this starts happening, uh, that's when the plot line gets really, 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 really confusing and you just don't know what the fuck's going on. Unless you're reading each and every single word. I kind of understand. It has something to do with the garden forces, but, but when stuff like this happens, uh, that's when it gets really, really confusing. Sis, where'd you go? You don't like me anymore? What a safer sight. That squall, he was there too. Say so they they were all in the uh, in in orphanage together. Isn't that ironic? Uh, do I go down here now or what? And why can't I run? Why do I have to walk? How about this? Yeah. The ocean, the lighthouse. Did we set off fireworks? Yo! Kids aren't supposed to be playing with fireworks. I'm telling. I'm going to tell on you. Cry, baby Zell. Go back to bed. Hmm, I wonder who that is. If I remember this... That's me, I was there too. We all got in big trouble. Then what about my parents and Ballop? The This is a Bell must have adopted you. Yep, that's probably it. I was there. Yo, come on, stop it. My turn, help. This asshole here. Cry, baby Zell. I wonder who that is. Who's that? Na 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 na. Stop teasing me, Cypher. Oh my goodness. Cypher, my archery. <laughs> wow, he was there too. Well. So somehow everyone remembered. I mean, uh, Cypher's always Cypher. Every side don't remember you. Christy, I think you were difficult to deal with. Selfie, I was full of energy. Basically, uh, somehow everyone seems to have forgotten this except for Irving. Zell always crying and screaming. <laughs> Irving is the only one who remembers all this. And, uh, oh, you gotta go out here. I got my rice uh, cooking on a pot. I gotta go check on it. Cypher was there too. Except for no, we were all there. Hey, that means... Yeah, I was there too. I, sis, I was always waiting for sis to come back. Who is sis anyway? Who who is his sis? He's not talking about uh, Aline, is he? Is that who he's talking about? Who is he talking about? But I'm doing my best. Blah blah blah. I'll be okay without you, sis. I'll be able to take care of myself. It didn't turn out okay at all. Sis, Aline. He is talking about Aline. Aline. So Aline was sis. She was a bit older than us, so we used to call her sis. Christy, Zill, Sefer, Irving, Cypher, and Aline, myself. Yeah, I'm not sure that's me and how this together, but we were definitely together. So he calls Aline a big sis, but th that's not his real sister, is it? Oh, yeah. I don't know. So you see, when, when shit like this happens, that's when the plot line gets really, really, really confusing. <laughs> She's the one that took us to, to took us back to Laguna's period. She said she wanted to change the past. I don't know why. There can only be one reason for that. She must not be happy with the present. If that's the case, I'm definitely gonna help her. She's probably off this game. <laughs> 
You didn't remember who she was. Hey, Stephanie, that goes for you too. Anyway, I think we have to talk to our party members now. We're going to talk to Christy first. It's pretty scary we've forgotten all those things. Okay. Ha. Huh. So, Ma and Pa were my real parents. Sorry, pal. Selfie. I wonder where the orphanage is. I've already been, actually. Hmm. So, Sis was lead, eh? Everyone's found a Sis, but you, Squall, kept hogging her to yourself. <laughs> you should have a good memory. This is really strange. I don't think I was adopted because of where I am. Probably the same with Cypher 2. 2 must be on the garden at the age of 5 or so. Yes, uh, once again, a lot of talking in this game, unfortunately. Even so, he's he's never mentioned anything about going up in orphanage and nothing. Blah, 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 nothing crossing my mind. That is so strange. In my case, I had loads and loads of fun with going to Tribea. That's probably why I forgot about it my childhood. That's what I think. But I don't know what happened to you guys. It's odd that you can forget. I remember. Yes, I remember now. Things didn't work out too well in a new home. So I came to garden at the age of 10. That's when I first noticed Cypher and Squall. Cypher and Squall were always fighting. Yeah, Chris used to break us up. Yes, that's right. Cypher was a kid who always needed to be a center of attention. He's a attention whore. But Squall always used to ignore him. But eventually, they would end up fighting. Squall would have easily walked into Wild Wafer, but I always took a challenge. Blah, blah, blah. He should have just known him, but Squall, most tears, would say, I gotta do my best, or else I won't be able to see sis. <laughs> Squall was always thinking about Sis. I guess that's why I I guess I was trying to take Sis, I mean Aline's place. I tried, but no I tried, but to no available That's probably it. Uh even after becoming instructor, I couldn't stop thinking about Squall. I thought it was in love. Aww Christy admit that she was in love with Squall. See Squall all this time, Christy has wanted you. Why are you so dense, man? Or maybe he just didn't care. I don't know. Once again, personally, I choose a crystal over any day. That's just me. No. I had my I had to hide my feelings as an instructor, but I become to realize it wasn't. It was my child feelings as a big sister. I lingered. Oh well. If you talk to her again, a misunderstood love. Actually, I had completely given up when Renoir came into the picture. That's a clue! Hey! It must have been safe for Cypher. I'm sure Cypher's forgot his childhood too, but whenever I see Squall, he didn't feel starting to boil out and... <laughs> That's why he's always picking fights with Squall. Why did we, why we forget? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, why did we forget? How about this? The price is paid for using GF. GF rises with power. But Jim makes, but Jim makes his own place out of brain, blah, 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 so you're saying that, blah, 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 blah. Basically, since we're using Garden Forces, we forgot. That's why we forgot. Okay, let's go. We forgot because we're using Garden Forces. That's, that's, that, that's, that's enough talking. Irving never used the Garden Forces until now, so that's why he remembers everything. But we've been using Garden Forces since we were little kids because we were in the garden and stuff like that. Okay, now then. Okay, that's enough talking. Let's get on with this uh, stuff here. Let's get on with it. Uh, uh, I have a confession to make. Ah, uh, this isn't good. Confessions are never good. When I was two, I went on a mission. I do a training. I found gifts. I went muscles. But it was really weird. I can't remember the name of that GF. It must be GF's fault. What did we do? What should we do? Nothing. You mean nothing? More talking. More talking. We all used Garden Forces. We were kids. So now we completely forgot everything because the Garden Forces stays in our mind, stuff like that. Come on now, that's 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 enough talking. That's enough talking. Hey, do y'all remember Matron? She's always been wearing black. Let's see, Matron just in black. She's the. Very kind, long black hair. Yes, I really admire her. There's something about long haired girls that really gets me going. I see it was in Matron. They look alike. Wait, I just picture her face and. Look alike? Nah, that's not it. Matron's her name is Ida Kramer. <gasps> Matron is the source's Ida! Ida's. Okay. 
Why is Matron? Why you all went with uh, uh, okay? So basically, Matron uh, was your babysitter, but for some reason, she suddenly become the evil sources that we've been fighting all this time. Okay. So now we gotta find out why the fuck this is happening. So once again, this is where the plot line gets really, really, really confusing, and you just aren't gonna know what the fuck's going on. Okay. I think that's enough talking. Uh, can we get on with the main game now? So this is like what I want to say. Ah, that's, uh... Unfortunately, I can't skip this because this is an LP. Unfortunately, you have to show everything doing the LP. I still don't know what I'm saying. I still, but I'm still going to fight. I want to see to this to Vin, blah, 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 blah. That's why I fight. We're born to fight. There's no other way. We're not like those bastards on Fishman Horizons who think that who think that we can resolve everything by negotiating. We're not that dumb, of course. Let me go check out my rice. I'll be right back. I want to hold two pairs. I had to take. Blah, blah, blah. I know our opponent is trying, who I love very much. You might lose something very important on account of the GF, but I don't mind. It's not like I drifted here because of the ties of fate. I'm here because I choose to be here. Blah 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 blah. blah. And more importantly. I grew, we all grew up together, we all comrades, blah, 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 blah. As a kid, you couldn't really go on your own, but now, nah, 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 nah. as a kid, you can't go on your own. Hell, in goddamn Pokemon, that's the awesome thing about Pokemon. You got six year old kids out there in the world on their own without their parents, camping out for like who knows how many years. Somehow, you got six and ten year old kids who can take care of themselves out in the world because they got their Pokemon to protect them. How cool. Wish I lived in a Pokemon world. Anyway, uh, are we finally done with all this, uh, dialogue, uh... uh well, you get one of these in every Final Fantasy game eventually where there's a lot of, uh, talking, but once again, if, if, if it had actual voice dialogue, it wouldn't be that bad, but when, when you have to sit here and read it over and over again, then yeah, that's kind of annoying. But oh well. Old school games, I guess. I'm sure that's where everyone wants it. Yes, baby, I'm sorry, but we're gonna fight. So if you wanna back out, now's the chance. Look, look. A gift from the fairies. Yo, squad, you wanna go check out Ease Orphanage? I wonder what it looks like now. We might not have a clue, or we might find a clue. Clue, you mean why I mentioned certain turn like this? It's probably had to do something with having the past, but the past is the past is over and done with. Despite what the truth finds, it's not going to change the present. But I want to see it too. Ba ba ba! I this 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 is Edith's house. And fortunately, I know exactly where it is. Okay. So we know we're going to fight. Are you going to join us? I guess that's it. We're fighting. You guys are fearless. Fearless? I don't think that's quite right. If you think too hard, you become lost. I think that's where we're afraid of. Blah, blah, blah. I wish we didn't have to fight either. I had to fight. Okay. I wish we didn't have to fight either. Yeah, the world would be pretty peaceful if, if it was violent free, wouldn't it? But unfortunately, uh, that's not going to happen because, uh, just like uh, you know, let's just say it. Will humanity ever attain such purity? No. And uh, I'll use her later. Let me uh, go back to my main squad. Yeah, I'll use a selfie uh, when I go to the garden. I'm not going to use it right now. Let me go back to my uh, my real squad here. Alright, anyway, our next destination is Ether's house, which is uh, down here somewhere. It's not showing you on the map, but fortunately I know exactly where it is. It's down here somewhere, so I guess I'll meet you there. Actually, uh, gotta go to work and shit. However, before continuing, I'm gonna go right back in here because I want to get Selfie's uh, card. And I really think it's, it's hilarious how... How your two party members do, do exactly what squad does. That's kind of, that's kind of funny. <laughs> it's really funny uh, watching them uh, mimic your party leader like that, regardless of uh, whatever he's doing. 
See that? That's that's funny. <laughs> uh, this is Seth's friend, and she has a Seth's car. Uh, no, come on. Someone told me that if you uh, if you keep uh, if you keep saying no, I I don't want to spread the rules. There we go. They'll eventually uh, get tired of asking you. Okay. Uh, I don't want to spread the ran random. Oh fuck no! Fuck no! Fuck that shit! I hope that's not the only rule here. Good day for cards. Yes. Let me see here. Random plus trade reward. Okay. Okay. Fuck that random shit. Fuck that. We. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try to. Uh, I'm gonna try to transform as many cards as I possibly can because that random rule is a. Ugh. Naturally, random is uh, your hand is chosen at random. You cannot choose the cards uh, that you want to use. I already have a hundred. Goddamn. I'm gonna get rid of these cards as much as I possibly can. You know what? What the hell? I saved the game. That, that, that's why you saved the game. I saved the game, so. Uh, in a way, uh, someone told me uh, how plus works, so I, I know how it works now, so. Trade, well, I guess I'll try. I don't have any character cards, so that's good news. Okay, your hand is chosen at random, but ironically, uh, you got the selfie card first. Isn't that just lovely? Okay. Well, with any luck, I'll actually win this thing, and then I can keep going. Let me uh, try to get ahead of you. You got one of my behemoths. That's not good. Uh, doing a plus with that ace is going to be kind of difficult. Let's see here. Uh, we're just tired right now. See, this is why random sucks. Random sucks for this reason. Because I've got a bunch of whipping cards. There's just not got enough thing I can do about it. Uh, let me see if I can get a plus here. Two. If they both equal the same amount, that's a plus, of course. Nine. This is twelve, and that's. Uh, I probably have a plus. I probably just can't see. See, plus. I understand how it works, but it's much more, much more difficult than uh, than saying. Of course, the AI won't miss uh, something like that. Please tell me I won. Yay! I don't know how I won, but give me that. Give me. Thank you. I don't know how I won, but somehow I did. And I'm done playing cards with you. Uh, come on, go. Thank you. Now let me uh, let me go over here to see if this uh this uh drop point is a uh, back. Now that I know where it is, I don't need to move for anything. Nothing there, goddamn. It still hasn't restored itself. I guess I'll uh, I'll occasionally uh, come here off screen for the sole purpose of uh, drawing that aura spell. I uh, won't need to do this uh, later on when I get to this three when I draw from Cypher, I believe. Anyway, this is our next destination, which is Eda's house. Unfortunately, it isn't on the map. It's not. It's not going to be highlighted on the map, so you're going to have to find yourself. Let me show you where it is. This is where I'm on the world map. You have to uh, take this uh, this uh, thing here and board it from either here, or over there. And notice a big airship up there in the sky. Hmm, I wonder what's going on with that. Hmm, we'll deal with that later. For now, let's go inside Edith's house. I think when we do this, there will be like nothing here or something. Oh, yeah, if memory serves me, uh. I almost forgot. Uh, if memory serves me, uh. And make sure that you, uh. Make sure that you uh, learn this as soon as possible. This is no encounters, cause uh, sometimes these random encounters get very, very annoying. It may me me there's a pretty good drop point hidden around here somewhere. This place is familiar. There's a drop point around here. Yeah, right there, behind Edith's house. There's a ultimate drop point. We're not gonna draw it yet. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, gonna make sure that Crystal has high magic. Uh, I don't know if this works on the world map drop points or not, but let's see. Now we're gonna draw it. One holy, <laughs> no. Okay, no, it doesn't work on the world map drop points, unfortunately. Regardless of, regardless of uh, how high your magic stat is, you'll only draw a certain amount, unfortunately. But it was worth a shot. 
If I'm wrong, please correct me, but there's the holy drop point, so... Ah, now, as soon as I took off the no encounters, look what happens. Fish. What a waste of time this is. Well, not because uh, they give off uh, three um, three billion points apiece. That's always nice. Yes, uh, unfortunately, uh, without spamming your limit breaks, most of these uh, battles just take forever, unfortunately. Anyway, uh, let's see if we can go inside Edith's house now. I remember this now. Edith's house is going to be the first. I remember this Edith's, this is Edith's house. I get the feeling there's, some, there's something nearby, something huge nearby. Okay. So we can't go in Edith's house yet. The story uh, turns your head for Edith's house, though, but we can't actually go inside it yet, unfortunately. That's not till uh, this three. 